Drž to, drž to, super, je to tam, boj, boj. Paráda, krásný. When I first heard about Adespach, I had no idea that it was such an amazing place for climbing. I thought that there were only few dirty cracks with almost no protection and I didn't know that it is actually one of the biggest and the best climbing areas I've ever been to. Adespach is located in the northern part of Czech Republic and it is a city of thousands of sandstone towers. Many of these towers are so monumental that they practically call to be climbed. Since the first ascent of the chimney on the tower called the King, thousands of other routes have been established. Climbing here has a very rich history and tradition and I feel like there are two groups of climbers here. The first group focus mainly on climbing classics, the routes that follow the most obvious lines to the top of the towers, like cracks, corners and chimneys. And these routes were first climbed in a traditional style, without use of chalk and with only traditional protection by knots and slings. For climbing on sandstone, we are using various slings and knots that we place inside of the cracks. So basically you have a piece of sling, you make a knot at the end, place it in the narrow spot in the crack and as, you, as it tightens up, the knot should be holding there. For wider cracks, we are using monkey fists. In recent years, uh, the various Czech brands develop uh, textile protection called UFOS and uh, it is said that it should uh, be working better than slings, but sometimes it doesn't. The second group of climbers focus more on modern routes. They call them sport climbs, but they are still pretty run out. These routes often involve hard climbing on steep walls or arets, and they were first climbed in a modern style with the use of chalk and they are equipped with the bold rings. I always liked all types of climbing and also here in Adespach I like to climb both the hard modern routes and also the classic crack climbs. The best thing about this place is that it offers something for everyone and the diversity of routes and beautiful sandstone formations make it a really special place for climbing. Yeah. 
Obviously the weather is not always good and the disadvantage of Adersbach is that the sandstone tend to stay wet quite a long time and that's why it is forbidden to climb here right after the rain. It is not such a big problem because we have a really good bouldering wall right here in Adersbach and if you don't fancy bouldering then there is a really nice climbing wall nearby. This climbing gym is ran by a really good sandstone climber, Kubarak, and he is setting a very good routes there that have the moves similar to rock climbing. ring of the root and unable to place any of these they are saying that you cannot fall out of all wood so I hope it's true <laughs> We often call Adersbach the instant mountains because climbing here is so adventurous that you get the same kind of excitement and adrenaline as you get climbing in the mountains. And with the great variety of climbs and adventurous style, it is a great place for training for my big projects in the mountains and especially in Yosemite. What I really like about Adersbach is the great community of climbers who come back here every weekend of the summer to climb and soak up the great atmosphere. During the day everyone's out there in the rocks and in the evening we all gather in our local pub to share the epic stories from climbing, eat amazing food and drink the best Czech beer. <laughs> 